about and welcome back to the TV show club. It's been a while. There's not been much TV shows coming out or anything that I've been really watching, but we've actually got so much coming out soon. I mean, we've got Secret Invasion starting, Ahsoka starting, there's something else starting that I can't remember what now but anyway there's a bunch of tv shows coming soon and i'm mega excited for it i didn't know whether to be excited or wary going into season six of black mirror but i was actually pleasantly surprised by at least a couple episodes i think my one issue with black mirror is it doesn't have the vibe that it used to of this could be like a real world scenario the magic of black mirror lays in the fact that this is sort of set in the real world it's something that could happen realistically it's that's the whole scariness of the show is that it's based around what could actually happen or even is happening currently and so while the concept is still vaguely there it doesn't have that same magic of oh this could happen especially with like the final couple episodes of this season they just they obviously were just wildly out there i think they've gone for a little bit more of like a political view or a social view rather than something to do with technology which for me is the technology point is the point of black mirror it's it's a scary dystopian world but if they want to do social commentary then that's fine and i still enjoyed it episode one of black mirror joan is awful is actually one of the better episodes of the season the acting is brilliant in this one the comedy is perfect. It's probably one of the funniest Black Mirror episodes that we've got. Annie Murphy did a stellar job, and I think she did a brilliant job as well hiding the twist at the end. Salam Hayek was actually, I take it back, she was the highlight of this episode. She was brilliant. I loved the comedy and the fact that it was so aware of itself. This whole episode is literally taking digs at the platform that it is being on, that is funding the show it is taking digs at, which I love. Michael Sierra, while he didn't have a major part in this, I thought just i loved him seeing him in this the whole concept of this that like they can base shows off reality is something that I, while i don't think could happen is a really cool take and a really cool concept and this quantum computer is just constantly pumping out new episodes every night with cg deep fake it's crazy because deep fake could get to that level and it could get to that point but the break seeing the breakdown of joan and the effect it has on her life and it's just i genuinely thought this was such a great concept and the reveal at the end of the episode where she's not actually Actually the real Joan and that that is crazy because that's also a commentary on like the whole are we living in a simulation thing because who knows maybe we're in a Netflix show right now and <laughs> that's crazy we are we are just in computers aren't we I thought the concept of this was great the acting was brilliant and the cinematography while it wasn't anything crazy I did actually I, I loved it while episode 2 of Black Mirror season 6 Lock Henry isn't one of the strongest episodes it's still quite an enjoyable watch I think this one felt the least Black Mirror out of all of this season because for the most part it's just a murder mystery which to be fair is a dig at netflix and with the ending i think it really sells this episode without the ending i thought th this is just not black mirror i was waiting for the twist i was waiting for something to happen and while there's a minor twist where the reveal of it's his mom i didn't think it paid off as a black mirror way until the end which i, <laughs> I was like what so this one follows a couple who go to a scottish town which is completely deserted because there was a murder that happened there or, or a sadistic basement thing and this couple decides to do a documentary on it and throughout that they then find out that the guy who's making the film his mum was actually the one who did all the murders and just the sex stuff and so then his girlfriend gets killed while finding out that it's his mum and then he then makes a documentary about them making a documentary and wins awards for it and it's that whole trade-off of like he basically sold his dead girlfriend and his whole life for a BAFTA award. It's it's a great concept. I loved it. It's a great little take on like the whole murder mystery thing and how obsessed society is with these murder mystery documentary series things at the moment. As I say, not one of the stronger ones. It didn't feel like Black Mirror to me, but it was still enjoyable. Episode 3 of Black Mirror Beyond the Sea is without a doubt the best episode of this series, which I mean when you look at the cast and everyone involved is not hard to believe. This show is about two this show is about two men who are on a space station and they have copies of themselves back on Earth. That they can log into and continue the rest of their lives while they're in space so they're not missing out on anything it's an absolutely fantastic concept and i just loved every little bit of this i could see where the story was going it was semi predictable but it didn't matter actually i say it was predictable up until the end <laughs> it went dark it went very dark so when one of the two guys his copy of himself gets killed and his whole family gets murdered there's only one copy left and they can't recreate the copies of them up in space so the two men have to use the one body and the other guy eventually falls in love with the other person's wife this is 
is really confusing to explain. The wife eventually doesn't actually realise that she wants it and they fall out because they're stuck up in space together. The twist at the end where you think he's going to kill him because he sends him out in space to do a false mission and then the reveal that actually is gone back to his model and killed his whole family it, it was so so dark i did not expect them to do that aaron paul did an absolutely incredible job with this i absolutely love seeing him act his absolute ass off the scene where he's crying in the woods because he's experiencing life again was just outstanding and he just i can't believe how good it was this might be up there as one of the top black mirror episodes that they have ever done and even though this series isn't as strong as season one through three this episode absolutely stands out episode four of black mirror might have had the weirdest twist of this entire season i was baffled and so confused what Watching this. this is sort of a social commentary on how paparazzis just absolutely destroy celebrities. It starts off with her taking a picture of a celebrity having an affair with a guy and he ends up killing himself and she kind of feels bad for it but she also can't help the fact that money is in this game so she gets back in it to find this celebrity who we think took mushrooms and went and killed someone and we think she's just freaking out about it so she goes to a retreat which we think is like a rehab and then it turns out she's a werewolf. <laughs> One of the weirdest episodes of Black Mirror ever, but it was actually kind of nice to see these paparazzi just who were just absolutely like storming into this woman who was chained up to a wall, taking photos of her, and being able to see them get their face ripped off by a werewolf was, yeah, it was quite good, quite satisfying. The whole thing of like her still taking a photo while a woman's got a gun to her head trying to kill herself is just, it's crazy. And the worst thing is, is this, this is a real thing. This is something that actually paparazzi are like, and they just will do anything for the photo and it's actually grim it's awful la is a horrible place and to be fair it happens all over this not just la but this was not a great one and as i say at first i thought it was just going to be a commentary on paparazzi and how awful they are did i expect the werewolf part no do i understand it no but it was kind of enjoyable the final episode of season six of black mirror demon 79 might be my least favorite of the season i think it's a very fun episode and the aesthetic of everything that they're doing the music the set piece pieces and the acting is, is great but the ending falls really flat and I just don't I didn't enjoy it that much. So this follows a girl who is living in England in a time where it's essentially just a racist well not everywhere is racist but a lot of it's racist and she finds a talisman which spawns a demon and says she has to kill three people in three days otherwise Armageddon is gonna happen. A very very strange concept for Black Mirror it doesn't really sound like a Black Mirror concept which is why I don't think I enjoyed it that much it's not anything dystopian it's more mythical it's not the route that I love Black Mirror to go down. I love them to go down dark technology, this could actually happen scenarios, whereas this was just sort of not that. Which I think is why I didn't enjoy it as much as the other episodes. But it was still, as I say, quite fun to see this woman who doesn't actually want to kill anybody have these intrusive thoughts and actually go ahead and kill four people by the end of it. Well, actually three people. She fails to kill the last person on the last day. I forgot about that. But the ending is just so weird where it's like you think she was just insane. She's actually just imagined that it was a talent it's actually just a domino and when you think that they're just gonna write it down as insane Armageddon actually does happen nukes come and hit everywhere and everyone just dies it's uh, what as I say to me this was one of the weaker episodes of the season and it was still enjoyable it just didn't give me that black mirror feeling of technology is awful <laughs> that season one through three gave me it just didn't feel like that if I had to rate the episodes of Black Mirror season six worst to best I would say Demon 79 last one while fun, it didn't feel like Black Mirror to me, and I just didn't really love the ending. At number four, Maisie Day, while a decent concept, it was just very weird, and again, didn't feel too much like Black Mirror. At number three, Lock Henry, while it was an enjoyable watch, and the ending was really good, overall, it was slightly slower paced, and again, didn't feel too much like a Black Mirror episode. At number two, Giant is Awful, a great concept, great actors, funny, and while not as dark as I love it, when Black Mirror goes, it still gave me that feeling of, wow, technology is going bad places. But in absolute first place, the best episode of this season has to be Beyond the Sea. Fantastic great concept incredible actors emotionally driven great cinematography great vibes great music i just this this episode was outstanding and for me definitely goes in a part of the best black mirror episodes let me know what was your favorite episode which did you love which did you hate have you watched it let me know in the comments and i'll see you next time on the tv show club